welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick little swatch party video on these two little collab palettes that I picked up from Sally Beauty. So if you guys are interested in seeing some swatches on my skin tone, just keep watching. Also guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me and I hope you will consider subscribing. Also I do have an active giveaway going on right now just as a little thank you to all my subscribers. So go ahead and check the description box so you can figure out how to enter that giveaway. Also December is my birthday month which is coming up and I'm going to have a ton more giveaways for you guys just to say thank you for a wonderful year here on my channel. Okay, without further blabbering, let's swatch these palettes. Okay guys, so I remember when Coffee Break with Danny. actually I remember when I first started watching Coffee Break with Danny. it's been years I've been watching her channel, I actually watch it less now. But anyway, I do still watch her, I think she's cool, but yeah, she introduced this brand to me. It's basically one that her and a bunch of other influencers worked, worked on, and I really like the name that they came up with called Collab, which is basically like you know, a collaboration and they launched at Sally Beauty. It's almost like a full range of makeup. I did go check out the display at my local Sally Beauty supply store. Uh, they have foundations. Not only do they have foundations, they have uh, foundations for oily skin, foundations for dry skin. They have eye pencils, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, eyeshadow palettes, like uh, little like quads and so many things. So it's very, very cool that they got to do such a large collection with Sally Beauty. And honestly, I don't really ever go to Sally Beauty to shop for makeup. And I feel like this was a good move for them. It really put Sally Beauty on the map a little bit, um, at least to get people to go into their stores because these were sold out in store. I actually got lucky and ordered them online because Sally Beauty was doing free shipping. So what happened was I didn't even want to buy these because I was like, whatever. They're like $14.99 a piece and it's like the last thing I need is more eyeshadow, especially eyeshadow that nobody's talking about, you know, because I haven't seen any videos on these products. So I follow Bo Addiction, I think is how you say it. I'll go ahead and link her Instagram down below. So I follow her on Instagram and she swatched these and I don't know if she like does something like wet the brush when she does hair swatches but she made these palettes look so vibrant and I was like okay now I really want them so <laughs> I decided to go ahead and pick them up and I figured if I didn't like them I could return them so I'm gonna stop blabbering and start swatching so this is one of the palettes I picked up and this is called best of the day and these claim to be very very blendable so let's go ahead and dip in feels really nice and soft and very very pre pigmented the matte seam so I'm just like really into mini palettes right now you guys and I feel like that's definitely the direction like makeup brands are gonna go in for 2018 it's gonna be smaller palettes less product but probably still a high freaking price point because you guys know the makeup industry is pretty cutthroat and you know they're making tons of money these makeup brands let's get that straight they're not struggling by any means so I think a lot of brands like Huda and Color Drain are really catching on to the fact that they could probably make more money make you buy more things putting them in smaller compact sizes yeah, I don't know if these have names it looks like they're just called one two three four so now I'm gonna swatch the second row and again these are very very nice and buttery and creamy so I'm really glad that these influencers got together and actually gave you know the public something substantial like even though it's a drugstore price point they didn't just like shade us on the product I think this is going to be really blendable just from swatching them that's the feeling I'm getting so I'm really really excited to Put these on my eye and for sure you guys will see a review come up on my channel now i'm gonna go ahead and switch gears and swatch the other palette this one is definitely more of a neutral palette it's called get ready with me and yeah these are kind of colors that i haven't seen in a long time in my collection because you know we've all been crazy about those warm tones and this kind of just reminds me of like the naked palette i guess i would say the original naked so i'm really excited to have something like this 
in my collection because I feel like I can just go back to those regular, you know, good old nice brownie <laughs> shades that are so easy to work with and honestly like I love the size of this palette, I'm not going to lie. So here are the swatches of the first four shades. Very, very pretty. And they feel really buttery. Like I don't think she like doctored her swatches at all. Of course her swatches are much nicer and you know prettier than mine but I feel like this gives you guys a real idea you know because I'm swatching these real time. I'm not like doing this you know editing this and then showing you guys. I'm definitely just swatching on my arm. So swatches aren't like 100% you know the best way to decide how a palette's going to perform but I think it gives you an idea at least of like if you're gonna like these colors. Like I said this one is definitely like very naked palette from you know 2000s and then this is more of like the modern renaissance type palette so I think both really really nice for the drugstore I don't see any issues with this I feel like I'm gonna really really enjoy playing with these so yeah that's pretty much everything for my swatch party let me know if you guys picked up anything from this new brand called collab and if you haven't had a chance to check it out like i said they are now available at sally stores otherwise you can shop online as well which is where i got the palettes from and i didn't have any problems and i also got lucky and got free shipping so i will definitely be testing these out some more so stay tuned for more videos from me on this brand thank you so much for watching guys and have a great day bye